why use twin studies? What's the point of it all? Yeah, it's nice to have parties and get on telly. But in the end of the day, there's, there's a serious point, and that is doing our research and why you're different is because you are this unique natural experiment. Okay? You just, there's no other way, really, of finding out the difference between nature and nurture. So we take a group of you that are identical and compare them to a group of non-identical. Any the similarities of, of those two groups, they should normally be the same. If they're not, uh, that means, and there's, and there's greater similarity in the identicals compared to the non-identicals, then that means there's a genetic component, that nature is influencing more than just uh, the environment. So once we've done that for any study, like we did for osteoarthritis, we, that changes the field. So people say, yes, it's worth studying this disease. Everyone said this was a boring disease of old age, and there was nothing you could do, and or you, you'd get sent to a surgeon who just gave you a new joint. Just like when the, the tires run uh, out on your car, you just get a new pair of tires. And nobody thought, well, you know, there's nothing particularly interesting about studying the tire. But there is, and there are genes that some people, their tires wear out a lot quicker than others, and other people's tires run, you know, can go for hundreds of years. And once you know that, you can then find out the differences between you that influence this. And this is where the DNA studies come into it. So understanding the DNA, breaking that down, allows us to do two things. One, find uh, new drug targets, because if we understand what the gene is, we can understand what it does. And if we do that, we can get new targets for drugs, which we can point out to the pharmaceutical industry. Here, this is a great new way for a for example, a painkiller, if we find genes for pain, or it might be something that stops your cartilage breaking down, and that would be a, another drug as well, because we're, we're finding a new mechanism. And that's why genetics isn't just a single injection of a gene, as we used to think, like gene therapy, but it's actually understanding much of, about the mechanisms of these complicated diseases, which are much more complicated than we thought. Then there's diagnostics. So once we find the genes, we can also do a quick blood test or test in your mouth and get some DNA and work out who's susceptible to anything. And these are all very useful for screening, as you all know. Most of you are taking part in some screening test to avoid invasive biopsies and nasty things. If you can avoid put people into high or low risk groups with a simple blood test, that's much better. There are many other things, but these are, these are the basics that I'm... Um, Give me a hand.